Hello everyone, my name is Selina Schmickel and I'm happy to present today the work of our team on the topic of combining NLP and domain knowledge induction into knowledge graphs to automate medical coding. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give you an overview of the background and motivation of our work. I will introduce some related work and the research gap which we target. I will give you an overview of the application which we developed over the past month and I'm going to demo it in the next step to you then also. In the end, I will conclude with an overview of work in progress and future work. With our application, we aim at optimizing the process of medical coding. Now, medical coding is the process of translating textual descriptions of diagnoses and procedures into alphanumeric codes. This transformation is made by human so-called medical coders in hospital and the codes that they identify are then used as input to a soft for a software tool called the DRG Grouper. And this software um, outputs a Swiss DRG code for a patient case that is used as a billing case, which is then used as uh, for insurance claims. Now, medical coding is not only relevant for the hospital side, but also for the insurance side, where it is used to check the claims that come in. Our solution therefore not only targets hospitals, but is also relevant for insurances. Why is an automation of medical coding important? Because there is a lack of personnel on the market, but also in companies, that is hospitals and insurances. And there's a lack of expertise because the learning curve is very high and it takes long for new ex uh, coders to become experienced. Quality losses, cause incorrect reimbursement. And uh, this is what we target with our solution by providing and uh, a semi-automated coding assistance tool that uses a learning system based on a knowledge graph. Our solution provides transparency and process op uh, optimization. In the market, there already exist solutions for the automation of medical coding, for example, by Swiss startups or the company 3M. However, most of those solutions only focus on the text of the patient records and don't take into account other sources of information. Furthermore, many solutions are not uh, built for German language or are not built for the Swiss uh, specific coding catalogs. Thirdly, um, a lot of solutions are not able to really be adapted to hospital particularities, for example, in the process of, uh, of coding. And last, it is very hard to compare the solutions because they are um, mainly proprietary. How does our application look like? It is built on three components which interact with the hospital information system. First, we have the coding assistant uh, application, a UI that a user uh, leverages for the analysis of texts. There is an NLP pipeline built on dictionaries and rules that takes as an input um, natural language text documents and identifies medical concepts in them by using the IBM medical linguistic asset. And the third component is a knowledge graph. Um, it is a directed graph um, in which we uh, included um, roughly uh, 530 patient or coded cases of hip and knee joint transplantation operations. And um, in the graph, we have four different types of vertices for uh, patient cases, ICD-10, CHOP, and DRG codes. These vertices are connected by different relations for main or secondary diagnoses or procedures, or um, the definition of which DRG belongs to which patient case, that means which, for which was it coded for. In the first step, um, from the coding assistant, a document is selected for analysis and then run through the NLP pipeline um, where the output are the relevant uh, or the, the concepts that were found as well as the mapping to the codes. These codes are used as input for a first query to the knowledge graph and here it is checked for those codes if they are relevant for DRG coding. The output which is then presented in the, in the, uh, in the application is a list of relevant codes for the analyzed document and the information if those codes are relevant for DRG coding or not. A human then selects um, those codes from the list which are relevant for billing. These selected codes are then used as input for another query against the knowledge graph in which it is checked if 
based on this information and the information on previously coded cases, it can be deduced that other codes might be relevant as well. This also includes DRG codes. So um, here we get a list of proposed DRG and um, potentially other relevant missing codes. Missing here means either missing because they were not identified um, during the pipeline step or because they are not written down in the document, meaning that they might be relevant for billing and maybe just have been um, not documented properly. So medical coders can contact their, uh, the doctor to check if this should be included in the record. A human then selects the relevant codes from this list and the resulting list for billing can be exported and imported into the hospital information system. In the future, the process should start and end at the hospital information system, meaning that the documents should directly be taken from the hospital information system and from there passed through the pipeline. Let's go into the demo. Here we have the starting landing page of our application. On the left, you see um, the documents which you can select for analysis, either single documents or patient records. Here we have the patient record of patient three with its discharge letter and the surgery report, which we're gonna analyze now. It is now run through the NLP pipeline and you can see the output here, which is an annotated text. And for the medical concepts found in the text, um, we get the, uh, the codes that they were mapped to, in this case, an ICD code. On the left, we see all codes that were found in table displays. Now let's select this ICD code, which indicates nocturnal confusion. And we see that another query here is triggered, and this is a query against the knowledge graph. We also see that the code which we selected was added to the list of codes for billing. Now let's jump into the graph to see what happened during the query. Here uh, marked, we see the ICD code, which I selected uh, for nocturnal confusion. And we see in purple, all the patient cases for which this code was coded. We can then see that for five of those six cases, the same DRG was assigned. And we see that in all cases, two chop codes were coded. This is a chop code for the implantation of the total endoprothesis of the hip joint. And here we have the code for the um, uh, for minimally invasive technique. If we go back into the application, we see here the list of those codes, which we've just seen in the graph. And we can filter here based on the number of cases for which the codes were coded. Here again, we see the codes for the minimally invasive technique and the code for the implantation of the total endoprothesis of the hip joint. This one is particularly interesting because in the text we see that this medical concept was actually found roughly, but it was not able to be mapped to a code. So by extending the, uh, the use of the pipeline to the use of a knowledge graph, we are much more likely to find all the relevant information. The user is then able to select codes from this list and uh, download it for it to be implemented into the hospital system. We also see here the DRG code that was coded for five of the related cases, which in this case is actually applicable. Let's quickly uh, look at work in progress and future work. So first, what we are currently still working on is the handling of the yearly updates of the coding catalogs. So every year, new catalogs are issued. Um, and in my master thesis, I developed a five-stage approach uh, on how to detect um, inconsistencies uh, caused by these updates in the graph. Uh, future work must be conducted on how to update the graph in order to really keep it up to date. Secondly, um, we want to extend the graph in order to also integrate the logic of coding. And we already developed a first version of this graph. It's schema you can see in the illustration on the lower right. And this gives us uh, the option to even use more elaborate queries for the graph. Thirdly, we wanna benchmark our system and also extend the graph to um, include coded patient cases from other domains. This brings me to the end of my presentation and the start of the question and answer session.